want to get some messages from your ancestors, your spiritual team, your spirit squad. Let's see what they have to say to you at this time, what you need to know. What do they need to know? Okay. So I'm seeing this energy of needing a spiritual bath. Okay. I feel like there is a lot of energies on you right now, and you may need a spiritual bath. You may also need to continue to do some deep healing. Reiki energy healing needed. Okay. Um, in particular about a soul connection. Alright. This could be a soulmate connection. That you need Reiki healing. For. Your ancestors and your spiritual team want you to do the work to heal that. What's going on here? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? They're talking about your intuition. So your intuition could be a little bit off because you need to cleanse. Okay. The light within you has to be reignited, okay? Um, so there could be lower vibrational energies dimming your light right now, and this is why you have to cleanse. It's really important for you to continuously cleanse. It's not a one-and-done situation, all right? You have to constantly cleanse, especially if you're hanging around with people that are lower vibrational, or let's say you're in a bad neighborhood, um, or the work environment that you're in, you can't really help it. You need to continuously um, cleanse, okay? To remove any dark energies being either projected onto you, all right? For those of you, my spiritual workers, okay? Because I'm reading for a lot of people. So for those of you that are spiritualists, for those of you that, you know, work in the spiritual department, okay? Um, you do need to remove any magical castings that have been um, casted onto you, all right? And your intuition has already been saying that to you. What's going on here? What do they need to know? So there's good news. There's there's things that are being replaced in your life right now. There I see gifts. I see generosity. There's balance being restored in your life. But you do need to remain cleansed, right? Um, there's a spearheaded situation here where if you do not stay in the up and up, right, um, things can can affect your karma negatively, right? And so. Like I said, things are being replaced in your life. So, you know, when things have to be replaced, that means that something is not functioning right in your life. So there's something that is not functioning right now in a particular area in your life that is being replaced with something much better, with a higher frequency, with a higher vibration, something that is in alignment with you. But like I said, you do have to cleanse to prepare yourself for this blessing, for this gift from the ancestors, okay? So be ready for this blessing that's coming in. So prepare yourself for this. Balance yourself. Restore your energy. I do see um, people coming in with this energy of um, generosity. They're also saying use your intuition on who you are generous with, okay? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? 
You need. You may need to get more messages from your ancestors, your ancestral lineage, a little bit more often. What else do they need to know? Okay. They have quite a lot to say to you. So, they do want to warn you that there is someone that is throwing jealousy or lower vibrational energy your way. Um, someone is trying to manipulate you in some form, which way. Um, and they do want you to be aware of that, to use your intuition, to utilize the light within, to shine that light within. Do not diminish your light for anyone, okay? Because someone is utilizing the charm, okay, of acting like they're loving and kind and compassionate and caring to manipulate you, okay? And so you need to use your intuition to know whether someone is for you or against you, okay? So someone is trying to manipulate you um, acting in this form. So you need to know who is trying to sabotage you or, or throw jealous en energy to you, okay? Who's being two-faced, basically. Um, I am seeing this energy of be careful who you are, um, following, subscribing, um, who you, who you are allowing to read you, um, whose energy you're allowing to attach themselves to you because you are very sensitive. Um, you are an energetically sensitive person. And so, um, like I said, going back to like the whole karma thing you can actually absorb someone else's karma so have you ever noticed if you hang around with someone that usually um has bad finances um and you may either allow them to borrow money or you take money from them and then everything goes sour in your financial department that's probably why because their karma then mixes with your karma and so you have to be very careful who you accept offers from and who you're generous with okay and so you have to be careful with that like i said um you are very energetically sensitive and so receiving and giving things to certain people um comes with a backlash situation so this is why cleansing is very um significant even cleansing gifts when you're you're getting gifts um, cleansing items when you're purchasing items when you're bringing it to your home cleansing you know when you're moving into a new space um, cleansing before and after leaving your home um, things like that is very very important to keep your energy clear of any lower vibrational energies okay um, now your spiritual team is talking about stop getting in your way you're getting in your way in terms of a situation um, you, and I feel like this is in terms of your mindset, um, you, sometimes you can get into those pessimistic thoughts, your negative, you know, um, thoughts can stop you, hinder you from going, uh, progressing, getting things done. Maybe this is an energy of procrastination, or maybe this is an energy of fear that doesn't allow you to get things done, and so it, um, hinders you, right? So whatever it is, opt for a different vibration optimism positive thoughts right um speaking life into something before it happens um so that way things can shift they're saying that they're trying to support you in this way all right um what you're not seeing coming is that you may have prayed for tried to manifest something between you and your ancestors and your ancestors um are definitely trying to get this to you right it may have been delayed for some time but i do see that coming some of you guys like to burn ancestor money you thought that something wasn't approved it was approved it was just delayed um i am seeing that um i'm also seeing for those of you that haven't burned ancestor money for a while um they are saying listen you know it's been some time and we would like another offering we would like for you to burn some more ancestor money we would like for you to return to the altar we would like for you to cleanse the altar something of that nature okay 
take the messages as they apply for you. Um, I am seeing for you to communicate more often with your spiritual team. So however you decide to meditate, everybody meditates differently. Some people meditate right before bed. Some people meditate right as the, the sun comes up. Some people meditate, you know, during yoga. Some people meditate as they're exercising. Some people meditate while they're cleaning and washing dishes. You know, some people meditate, you know, quietly sitting down or laying down. So however you meditate, <laughs> you know, I'm not knocking how you meditate, but I'm saying however you meditate, when you enter the state of meditation and when you enter that state of trance, um, they want you to call on them because they want to bring some sort of spiritual enlightenment to you, um, some sort of knowledge, some sort of wisdom, some sort of spiritual download, so that way you would have some sort of clarity of whatever you need to know about, right, whatever insight you need to know, um, especially if you've been asking a lot of questions or you've needed assistance as of lately, um, and they're trying to uh, be specific on whatever you need, right? Um, they're also saying be specific when you're asking them in this meditative state. This is what I need help with. You know, I don't know what to do with this particular situation. I don't know where to go here. I don't know what to do with this situation. I don't know what to do with this person. I don't know what to do in terms of my finances. I don't know what to do in terms of love. I don't know what to do in terms of my healing. I don't know what to do in terms of a mentor or something like that. Whatever it is, be specific and they will show you something. They will be able to communicate with you, right? Um, but also be open and receptive to what they have to say, right? Don't immediately go to those pessimistic thoughts, like I said, and shut down the download before they can actually show you the answer, okay? Um, they're also giving you some sort of reminder, right? To continue to clear the heart chakra, continue to clear the heart space. Um, because as you're manifesting, as you're healing, as you're trying to be receptive to blessings, right, and receptive to people and receptive to the community and receptive to different offers of the world, right, um, you need to make sure that you're open to receive love, open to receive support, open to receive healing, open to receive those blessings, right? And if you're not open to receive, that means that you could be blocked off, that could mean that you're holding old emotions, that could be that you're suppressing something, and so that mean there's there needs to be a heart chakra clearing, maybe an energetic pulling, um, an energetic removal of some sort of blockage in the heart center. So make sure that you're doing that, right? Like I said, it could have something to do with a soul connection, a soulmate, or something like that, all right? Um, uh, they also want to talk to you about something that you haven't really been seeing in terms of bribery. Um, I see a bribe, and this is significant. They, There's someone that your ancestors do not want to come back into your life they don't want this person to return in your life and they don't want this person to bribe you okay they don't want this person to mix their energy with you emotionally they don't want this person to mix their energy with you financially um, but I feel like this person is going to try to finesse you or something like that and this is why your ancestors are saying we want to keep this person away from you so pay attention to some sort of intuitive downloads on that department because I am seeing that as well all right um, and in any which way or form if your intuition starts showing you faces during this reading you start remembering conversations you start remembering something from the past I want you to take note of that because that is your intuition letting you know something about this reading. That is your ancestors guiding you to an answer about this reading, about what this reading is about, okay? Don't sit there and second guess yourself because that's exactly what they're talking about. You need to utilize your intuition more, okay? Strengthen that intuition, my love. All right, so there is a spiritual attachment here, okay? Um, I am seeing there is a deceased person who um, could be attached to you, all right? Um, I'm not sure if you have known someone. I'm not sure if this is a family member or a friend um, or a friend of the family 
or a friend of a friend that you have known okay this person knows you they are attached to your energy not attached to you but attached to your energy and i feel like this is because this person is earthbound when i say earthbound this means that this person could have not transitioned i'm not sure exactly what happened but this person for some reason um what whatever happened with them it was hard for them to transition from the earth realm to the afterlife and so this person has has now had an attachment with you um and so this spirit of this person um from what i'm seeing because they didn't leave this realm they're like following you around from time to time um not to creep you out or anything like that but like i i do feel like to give you a little bit more insight on this person when this person was alive they could have had um some dealings with drugs some dealings with um addiction okay um or they had some sort of bad habit um when they were alive okay um and that's how they show themselves around you okay so in your physical mundane reality you would know that this person's around you based off of that um, if you see someone that has their habits, th their mannerisms, they speak like them, um, they would say something just the way that person would say it. It's almost very creepy and very airy, <laughs> like, oh my god, that, you sound like such and such, right? And that's why, because that person is kind of like, like giving you a message through someone else, because they're attached to your energy. And I don't, I don't really, I don't think that that's a bad thing, but it's up to you whether or not you want to disconnect that, that energy. And you definitely can with some sort of cleansing. You can, um, you can like disconnect that energy. And if you want to, let's say, light a candle for that person so that way they can transition in peace, I would recommend a white candle or a yellow candle for a peaceful transition, okay? That's all I would say on, on that note, okay? Um, wow. So your ancestors, right, they're all talking about, you know, um, if you do have some sort of altar, for those of you that do have altars for your ancestors, they would like some more fresh water, they would like some sort of offering. Um, they really love the fact that you honor and respect them, that you light candles for them, that you pay them respect you know, that you say uplifting prayers for them, you know, that you are, you know, that you show loyalty to them, and this is why they guide you, this is why they protect you, this is why they're around you, they, they really love connecting with you, um, and so they, they would like another candle, okay, um, from what I'm seeing here, okay, they also want you to know that it's time for you to start, um, holding others accountable for what they have done um or what they're doing to you okay sometimes we can't help what people do to us but we can um hold them accountable for what they have done to you know their actions right um and if someone let's say if you're doing some work if you're doing all the work someone else also has to do something is what your ancestors is saying it's not fair that you do all the work it's not fair that you're you're putting all the weight on your shoulders it's not fair that you do all the healing and someone else doesn't do the healing and then you feel like you have to suffer for everything right in the situation it's not fair that you're the one you know planning and and trying to expand and trying to look to the future and then someone else is just stagnant and not moving and not doing anything not looking to the future um that is not allowing you to progress right um some of you guys have a connection with oshun energy okay from what i'm seeing here um they want you to sing they want you to dance lots more um work on self-love self-expression um being able to really connect with your inner happiness right um showing compassion to yourself right not just compassion to others but to yourself um meditating with oshun if you guys are connected with oshun it will also benefit you guys okay um is that all yes that is all 
Okay, so this was your reading, all right? Comment down below. Let me know how that resonated for you. And I will see you guys soon. Peace. All right. Pile number two. Let's see what your messages are. Messages from your spirit squad. Messages from your ancestors. Let's get to it. What's going on here? What did I need to know? All right. So you guys... You guys need to do some healing work, all right? Um, that's the first thing that they said. You need to do some transcript journal work. So you need a journal. If you don't have a journal, if you do have a journal, you need to start writing in your journal, okay? Um, you need to keep records of when your angels and your ancestors are trying to deliver messages to you, right? Your angel numbers, your your intuitive nudges, right, your dreams, stuff like that, keep all that in a journal, okay, um, whenever you're doing healing work, you write down the day, what type of healing you worked on it, um, make sure that you're doing your journal prompts, right, your shadow work, um, there could be some healing that you need to do specifically in your twin flame journey, okay, um, in a twin flame connection from what I'm seeing here, if this is not a twin flame connection, if you guys do not, you know, resonate with that, then this has something to do with, let's say, a ex-girlfriend, ex-female lover situation, right? Um, so this could be, like, because you got hurt by an ex or because of a third-party situation or something like that, and you still have to heal from that, right? Um, from that type of connection, um, from what I'm seeing here. So... So like I said, start start a transcript journal, and a transcript journal is basically what your ancestors are saying to you, what your angels are saying to you, so the angel numbers, and then the meanings that you, you know, see that, you know, they come up, sirens, that's significant, okay, that's an omen, that means that your ancestors have been trying to get these messages to you for a while, and you've been ignoring the signs, all right, um, I also feel like you will be informed information of partic particular events to come, okay, that you need to know about, all right, and they're very, very important. The signs have something to do with someone being removed from your energy that is not supposed to be in your energy anymore, okay. Um, I'm also hearing there is assistance coming your, your way. Okay, there's assistance coming your way, and your ancestors want you to know that, all right? They're coming to the rescue. What's going on here? What do they need to know? 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 Okay, so I feel like you do definitely have to work on your happiness. Um, you may even need to work on like your financial department, right? Um, I would say if you're like a tea drinker, to drink more mint tea, to drink more like cinnamon tea, all right? Um, if you're not a tea drinker, then you can like burn these essential oils, okay, around to do like a aromatherapy to work on like uplifting your happiness, okay, aromatherapy may be good, what's going on here, what do they need to know, okay, so they have a couple messages for you, one in terms of money, business and then another message in terms of love okay so in terms of love they're talking about examining your behavior like pay attention to how 
you know, what, what destructive things you could be doing, um, habits and stuff like that, that can arise, um, specifically in your love department, um, in your intimate situations and stuff like that, in your relationships, because this is the time for you to, like, break them down, um, not do them anymore, like, eradicating the destructive habits, right? Um, in terms of business, if you have been, um, or money, if you've been experiencing or facing, like, setbacks financially, all right, you need to strengthen, um, and resolve any type of problem solving at this time, okay, to make sure that, like, you have a backup plan and stuff like that, right, because this is, this is actually why it's happening, um, to teach you how to have a backup plan, what's going on here? So you may need to have a fresh perspective on something here. What's going on here? So I'm seeing you may also need to work on your love department to sweeten your love department, all right, to spice up your love department, to warm yourself up to love, okay? This is significant, all right? Um, your ancestors do want you to know that you need to kind of slow your roll in terms of a particular family member. They're trying to tell you something about a particular family member. A family member is not to be trusted, all right? And you kind of felt this, like, intuitive nudge like to slow something down in terms of that family member or something like that now you're protected but i just feel like there's a family member that's not supposed to be trusted right now or they're just untrustworthy at this time so kind of slow down that connection between them you will have some sort of synchronicities in terms of this okay um some of you guys um may need to some of you guys may need to go take a pregnancy test. That's what I heard. Some of you guys may need to take a pregnancy test, okay? Um, so you may need to go take a home pregnancy test. All right. I'm seeing good news, right? So whatever your good news is, you're going to see your good news on that pregnancy test, right? Everybody has different good news, right? So whatever your good news would be, it will be the results on that um, when you pee on that stick, all right? Um... You may need to remove some bad energy. You may need to, like, burn a candle, remove some bad energy around you, okay? I see protection for you. Good energies. What's going on here? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Oh, I see a present. You guys could be getting a gift. It's really nice. It's a really nice gift. And it's specifically for you. So it's tailored for you. It's it's a, a, a special gift for you. Okay? So expect a gift. I feel like you're going to overlook this gift, so they're saying don't overlook this gift because it's specifically for you. What's going on here? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Interesting. Um, some of you guys... Now, take what applies here. Some of you guys could identify yourself as a beginner, um, exper like, hmm, experimenting with the craft is what I heard. But if you don't, if you're not doing this, so now you know, this is not you. You're like, well, that's not me. If this is not you, then that means this is somebody else in your energy. A beginner, which, um, experimenting with which 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 talk is what i heard which talk or something like that a, a witch talk learner okay um so 
be careful with that. All right. Use your intuition. What's going on here? That's what your ancestors said. What do they need to know? Yeah, you may need to do like a banishment spell or something like that. Okay. Justifiable return to sender is what they said. It may be time for you to go out into nature. You may need to do a nature walk. Okay. So walk. But I don't know if you guys, you know, have like a long road where there's like a whole bunch of trees or stuff like that. Um, walk around the, it's like a road and then there's like trees to the left and trees to the right. You need to walk on that road. There's, you're going to find something there. Okay. Some of you guys, you can like walk into like a national park or a, some sort of, mm, I don't want to say local park because that like it looks like a road to get to it so it's like it's a big park all right there's one two three four trees to the right and there's like three trees to the left from what i saw okay yeah someone tried to, to cast a spell in a bottle or a jar that's oddly specific why are you guys giving me specifics what's going on here winter the winter is significant the winter months edging on to the spring so december january february march okay the first the second the 21st the 20th is significant these days are significant okay your spiritual team is saying they want you to know that they have blocked whatever that was. So somebody did try to do some sort of jar work. They learn on witch talk or on the internet or something like that. They try to do on you, but they were a baby witch or something. But they protected you from it and you need to cleanse. You need to clear the energy off of you. Okay? But your spiritual team, your spiritual core blocked it and removed it. Um... But now you have to cleanse to clear your energy to to bring in good energies okay so i would i would recommend sage i would recommend thyme i would recommend rosemary yeah rosemary for your energy for protecting your energy to to strengthen your energy okay to rejuvenate your energy okay i would even do like mint to refresh in your energy all right um as a spiritual bath okay because whoever was doing this, I don't I don't know what kind of jar spell they did on you, but it was blocked. You just need to kind of do a refresher on your energy, okay? Um, your ancestors and your spiritual team um, want you to connect more through books. They want you to open up a couple books now. You've been wanting to open a book or something like that. They said that they have a message for you. You have some sort of book around you or in your home. They will deliver a message to you if you just open it. So if you open it, you peruse through it and then just open to whatever page and just read a sentence. Okay. The answer, the, the sentence will have an answer for you or the paragraph will have some sort of answer for you that you need. Okay. Um, I believe that's called bibliomancy. All right. Look that up. Um, but yeah, the, the, I'm seeing your answer will be in the page and in the book that you choose. It doesn't matter what book, it doesn't matter what page, it's just, you're just going to grab it, you're just going to peruse through it and open it and then start reading and then, you know, you'll have an answer, okay? So, what you're not understanding is that at the end of the day you're blessed and you don't have to worry about whoever the heck did whatever the heck bottle spell or whatever you know because i'm pretty sure some of you guys are like who the fuck with that <laughs> listen it, you know it doesn't really matter what matters is that you know that your ancestors got your back 
and you just got to cleanse, right? Uplift your energy, right? remove that negative energy so you can keep the, the positive energy around you. Um, because nowadays everybody's trying to just <laughs> do weird stuff because they are seeing a lot of stuff pop up online, right? And so, like I said, I feel like this is like a beginner, experimental witch, and if anyone's trying to stick anyone in a jar, it's most likely because they're bitter about whatever situation. Not giving anyone any type of right to do anything like that, but I'm just saying, that's usually what my clients tell me and what I, you know, pick up from my clients from what I see in the situation. Um, and so I would just, you know, let you know, you can cleanse it off of you. You can always remove it. You can always break it. You're not going to stay stuck. Like I said, your ancestors protected you and removed that energy from you. But you do have to remain cleansed. So um, cleansing your energy and uh, strengthening your protection shield um, is uh, very important. Okay? All right. That's it. Those are your messages. Comment down below. Let me know how that resonates. Peace. Okay, pile three. Let's see what's up. What's going on with you guys? Pile three. What is up? What do they need to know? For pile three. What do they need to know? For pile three. What do they need to know for pile three? All right. Cleanses. Cleansing, washes. Your home routine is significant. Cleansing your home. If you have two, uh, if you have two floors, cleanse your, um, second floor, okay? If you have um if you have multiple rooms, make sure you cleanse each room. All right. What's going on here? I'm seeing like homemade offerings and stuff like that. Maybe you do these things. Okay. Maybe you consider yourself as a kitchen witch. Maybe you should look up the the meaning of kitchen witch. What's going on here? Seeing protection spells. Your ancestors are saying this is significant. What's going on here? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Okay, so they want to warn you of someone that Mm. They're they're trying to warn you about a situation in terms of domestic violence, okay? Now, let's get into this situation because domestic violence doesn't always have to be about a relationship, like a romantic relationship, you know, um, where the romantic partners are abusing one another. It could also be a domestic situation is basically something happening in the home. So, violence could be... Mental, could be verbal, could be emotional, could be sexual, all right? Um, so there's a domestic violence warning, uh, warning here, but they're talking specifically about a physical abuser. There's a physical abuser that your ancestors are trying to warn you about, all right? And this is why they're, they're saying that you may need to protect your home from that energy, okay? So take what resonates here. Now, I'm not sure if, because they said something about cleansing. So, I'm not sure if you're in this situation where you're in a situation and this is like your situation, you're with someone like this. Or if this is not your situation, you may have moved into a home where the previous people that was in your home was in that situation. And you have to cleanse that home. 
to get rid of that energy and then protect your home so that energy doesn't come back. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, that's usually what happens when you come up in a home and you don't cleanse it and, and then like the whatever happened previously to, to that family and that family's family and, and you know, whatever happened to, to all those other people start happening to the new people that come in. You get what I'm saying? Um, so make sure that you cleanse whatever space or place that you moved into, okay? Um, if you're seeing these patterns or these warnings, okay? All right, let's see what's going on here. So just take what applies here. Just take what applies here. What do the ancestors want to say? What do the ancestors want to say? Okay, so there's a couple messages here. Your spiritual team, your spirit guides, your ancestors are saying that they have been blocked for some time from you. Um, they have been blocked some time from you because um, you need to meditate more. Your third eye could be blocked or your energy could be blocked off to them. You may need to cleanse your energy. Um... So you need to open up your energy to them again, okay? Because they're trying to get some messages to you and they can't get the messages to you or you're not understanding the messages that they're trying to get across to you, okay? So try to speak to them through meditation, all right? Try to get into some sort of meditation, cleanse your energy before the meditation, right? Um, sage, um, use Palo Santo, you can use sweet grass, you can use holy herb, you can use black sage, um, you can use myrrh, you can use frankincense, you can use dragon's blood. Um, there's a variety of different incense that you can use to cleanse and uplift the energy to prepare your energy for, you know, communicating with your ancestors, right? And then you can enter this meditation, right? I do feel like they have some sort of spiritual insight for you, right? Um, they're talking about doors. They're showing me doors. They're talking about love. They're talking about your happiness. They're talking about money, okay? Um, so all of these doors, that's three doors, I believe. That's three doors that's opening up for you, okay? These are the doors that are open now for you. It's time to begin to search, um, to find many and plenty opportunities that, that are out there for you. Um, but like I said, you have been disconnected from your ancestors and so you need to cleanse and protect your energy and connect with them more. So talk to them, you know, pray, connect with your ancestors. What's going on here? Because they do have some messages for you. What's going on? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? crystals you need crystals and if you do have crystals you may need to cleanse and recharge your crystals before you start meditating with them again before you start wearing them again and if you're wearing any crystals you may need to take them off cleanse them and recharge them again okay um you're connected you can connect and you're connected to the energy of crystals so you connect a lot with the earth um so like gems crystals stones rocks um, the earth element is like really something that you can amplify and manifest with. Um, and so with those vibrations, you can get a lot of power and energy. And so this is something that you should definitely keep around the space where you meditate or keep around the space where you manifest or you pray or, you know, you do those things. Okay. Um, your ancestors are saying you're very gifted if you were to practice or try to hone in on the gift of seeing auras you can see auras you can channel to see auras you can you can see an aura if you don't know what an aura is the aura is the energy outside the layer of your physical body 
you can see the color outside of their, your physical body that's your energetic shield and so you can see the aura of animals you can see the aura of objects you can see the aura of people and you can you know you can see um you can see the energies within that but you have to practice that you have to meditate you have to ground your energy you have to constantly cleanse your energy right because if you can see that that means that you can also um absorb energy channel energy uh project energy you could even be a healer okay what's going on here what do they need to know And so if you are, okay, so if you are, if you are a healer, if you're connected to these things already, like if you like Reiki, if you like crystal healing, if you like crystal grids, right, and you are already attracted to these things, right, that lets you know, like, there's a reason why um, healers, right, attract a lot of narcissists, attract a lot of people that are, um, I don't want to necessarily say broken, but traumatized, um, hurt, um, in need of healing, in need of restoration, in, in like uh, energetically depleted, and so therefore you always feel like you have to help someone. Um, so make sure that you're you're protecting your energy, that you're not overexerting your energy to the point of energetic depletion, right? And so you make sure that you're you're closing your energy. When you have to close your energy to protect yourself and opening your energy back up when you are safe enough to open up your energy this is something that you have to practice right um like i said you're under complete protection there's no physical harm that's going to come near you or your family members like i said um but your ancestors were kind of warning you that you may need to cleanse like i said an environment a home a space where that energy was there before or you were exposed to that energy before and you need to cleanse that off of you so that way it doesn't it's not something that you constantly attract again right um so you don't need to worry okay i like i never do these readings for anyone to like hop into the energy of anxiety or you know fear or anything like that so so you don't need to worry okay um no one's out to get you or your family or anything like that so you're fine but you do have to be a little bit slower to um, opening up to people because your energy is very magnetic. And so people will try to abuse your energy, right? And the, your physical energy will be at harm. What's going on here? That's what they were trying to say. What do they need to know? Okay. So I do see that you're into a lot of different kind of readings, okay? It's not just tarot readings, right? It's not just, you know, um, oracle readings, you know. You may be interested in, like, rune readings, um, I Ching readings, uh... I'm not sure if you ever got your palm read before, but palmistry, you may be interested in that. Um, tessio, tessiography, I believe it's called. Um, tea leaf re readings. Um, bone, bone throwing. Shells. Uh, candle wax readings. I, yeah, like I see that you're like into stuff like that. And your ancestors are saying like you would, you would benefit from learning more about that as well. So in your lineage, someone definitely did this before, um, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, and if you wanted to, you can do it yourself too. What's going on here, ancestor messages? There's some sort of old conflict here that your ancestors want you to resolve, whether it's in your spirit, in your heart, in your mind, or quite literally, like just resolve something, okay? If you're thinking about starting a business or you already have a business, I do see um, in two years, two years, in two years, your business is going to grow. All right. That's what I'm seeing here. That's an omen. All right. 
it's gonna grow 20 twenty thousand more than twenty thousand dollars in business capital so that's that's good money all right have intuition pay attention to your intuition you could be connected with the goddess Oshun you may have messages in power one all right if you felt guided to go check that out um I do feel like you have to be be aware of evil eye, okay? Because there there is always going to be that group of people, there's always going to be that one person, there's always going to be someone that's throwing you evil eye, envious energy, right? And those haters are just really low key fans because those people they want something that you have, they want something that you do, they want something that you um, are taking action in, okay, and it's that's why they're envious, that's why they're jealous, right, and so the evil eye is basically just letting you know that their ego is hurt because they can't do what you're doing, and so you, you just have to protect your energy from that because the evil eye can actually destroy um, your plans before it, it even gets you know going um but i do feel like you need to expect you know good energies and stuff like that moving forward and your your ancestors are definitely saying that okay um so create a great living space by cleansing purifying protecting your home all right anything else here yeah you can expect this energy to come in this week Work more on your courage, okay? Work more on your courage. Um, your ancestors are also saying that you need to invoke them more using mantras and prayers, you know, uplifting them. You know, um, when I say uplifting them, that means like bringing peace to them on the other side. You know, making sure that they are at peace on the other side. Making sure that they are remembered and they're not forgotten, right? Um, this is how that's significant. Anything else? Oh, pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are very significant, so make sure you have a dream journal, okay? And your emotions, okay? Make sure that you're meditating on your emotions and what your emotions are telling you, all right? Um, salt water baths are very significant for you, so at least once a week, salt water bath, okay, sea salt water, um, will be very beneficial for you, for you to kind of reset your energy, for you to feel really, really nice, okay, or a salt water scrub, um, would also be good to add to your resume, okay, is that all? Yes, all right, so that's it. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Comment down below. Let me know how that resonates. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.